40 miles south of the Master Chef Kitchen, our remaining 10 home cooks have arrived in Huntington Beach, California for an epic Oceanside Team Challenge. We see two sea doos flying in, and there is Joe and Gordon coming 90 miles an hour straight at us. The judges look pretty badass on those sea doos. Seen Graham? Where's Graham? Where's Graham? I see there is something looks like a buoy. Come on, Graham! <laughs> Please, God, no. Is that Graham in a speedo? I think Graham takes the cake today on beach challenge arrivals. Gordon and Joe did a great job. Yes, Graham. Graham took it up another notch with raw sex appeal. Welcome to Huntington Beach, California, everyone. You guys know the official nickname of Huntington Beach? No? Surf City, USA. <laughs> That's right. You guys are going to have to feed 101 hungry surfers. <laughs> What do surfers eat? Aren't they like unemployed weirdos? If there's one food that really defines Southern California surf culture, it's the delicious, simple fish taco. You've got 60 minutes to prep and 60 minutes to serve. Fish tacos are huge in San Diego. I make fish tacos myself at home. I do shrimp tacos, I do ahi tacos, I do mahi-mahi tacos. So I'm excited. You can only choose one type of fish in your tacos, but you've got the most amazing choice from ahi tuna, delicious cod, catfish, or mahi-mahi. You need to serve each surfer two identical, stunning tacos with one delicious sauce. Each of the 101 surfers will vote on which fish taco they prefer. The first team to reach 51 votes will be the winning team. Right, ready to pick your teams? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Good. Jesse, come over here, please. Here's the good news. Winning that elimination challenge, you had the best dish. So you get first team pick. And the second team pick. And the third team pick. I like where this is going. <laughs> and the fourth team pick. That's right. Basically, you now get to pick your team of all-stars. Holy advantage. The five remaining cooks you don't pick will, of course, be the team you are up against. And their team captain is chosen by you as well. I am holding all the cards, and I love it. <laughs> I'm picking this person because they understand how to put flavors and spice the right amount of heat. Mm -hmm. So I think James is my number one. James, let's go. Thank you. Uh, right, second pick. Eddie. Eddie, welcome to the blue team. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Right, uh, next pick. I would love Bethy to come join me. Wow, Bethy. Now, your last pick. I want a little artistic flair. I want someone who's going to have good input. Mm -hmm. Understands flavors and heat and spice as well. I'm going to pick Natasha. Wow, Natasha, come on the blue team. <laughs> you have just hand-picked your dream team. Yeah. And you've left those five individuals that enter into the red team. Out of those five individuals, you now have to nominate a captain. I'm not going to pick Jordan or Chrissy. They've already been captains. Even though they weren't great at it, they've learned from their mistakes. There's Luca, who doesn't know tacos. That's tempting. Bree, the vegetarian. Or Savannah, who just gets nervous and has a bad palate. All right. To Chrissy or to you, Luca? To me. Luca. Wow. Savannah, you are now the team captain of the red team. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm from Southern California. I'm from San Diego. 
She doesn't realize what she's done, so I'm not scared. I think she made a mistake picking me as a captain. If she thinks that I'm going to crumble under pressure, that's not going to happen. Your one hour of prep starts now. Off you go. Good luck, guys. The most urgent task for both teams is to decide which fish they will choose for their tacos and how it will be prepared. I'm thinking either tuna or cod. I think cod is the most forgiving of all the fish. I agree. Traditionally, you put it in a batter, you fry it, put it in the taco. Or we could do like a blackened cod with a really great seasoning. I would love fried, but it takes a lot of time. We have just 50 minutes to Let's fry. test it out. Does anybody know how to make a batter? Can anyone make a batter? I can make a really good all right. batter. So you're going to make a batter. We're going to test okay. it out. And then we need to make a sauce. I'm telling you, I can kill a sauce. My philosophy as a captain is to make sure that everyone agrees on everything that we do and to delegate and have a plan. I want you to work on the spice, you to work on the batter, and I want you to prep the fish. They don't think we can do it, you guys. That pisses me off, so we're going to kick their asses. Oh, yeah. Ready? Go! Go on a team! Mahi is personally my favorite. I don't know how you guys feel about it. When I think of fish tacos, I think of Mahi Mahi. Yeah, tender ass pieces of fish. Yeah. What we can do is just lightly sear it on both sides and it's still, it'll soak up the sauce. What kind of sauce we think? There's a bunch of pineapples over there, enough to make sauce for all of it. Do you want the sauce spicy or more on the sweet side? A little bit of heat. Mahi Mahi is such an awesome tasting fish. Let's get started. There's only one sauce that I can think of that will complement it perfectly. And that's a roasted pineapple and habanero hot sauce. While the blue team begins prep on the components for their mahi-mahi taco, on the red team, Captain Savannah is making the slaw topping for their cod taco. Jordan, I think the cabbage tastes like nothing. Huh? Did you taste it, the cabbage? Did you salt it? Did you put any vinegar on it? No, because I don't want to overpower anything else. You got to season it with something. I put lemon juice. Savannah says she doesn't want to put anything on the cabbage, which I'm a little confused by. You put seasoning on everything. If you had to nominate the weakest individual in the red team, it would be Savannah. Mm -hmm. But Savannah is from Southern California. She may be a school teacher, not a surf girl, but she understands the culture, she understands the food, she's lived the life. We're gonna make the, the slaw's gonna have a little kick because it's gonna have the chipotle in it. We've never given that level of responsibility to a single captain to pick two teams. That's pretty unique for Jesse. Yeah, I mean, it really is almost the, the best of the best, the all-stars. You know what was really surprising to me is her picking James first. Why did she pick James first? Because of his technical ability to deliver an amazing sauce. Mm -hmm. The key to the success of winning this challenge is gonna be in that sauce. On a scale of one to 10, how hot's your salsa gonna turn out being? Five, I'm making it mild. With so much pressure riding on the sauce, Joe and Graham head over to the blue team for a taste. That's right. Oh, too spicy? No, Joe, get a big bite. No one's buying fish tacos for the slaw. It's the fish and the sauce that goes on it. That's what makes it key. Oh. James's first uh, stab at the sauce is a miss. If I put out a crappy sauce, we're going to have a crappy taco. That's not like an, uh, an evolving heat. That's like a stab in the throat. Master Chef's top 10 home cooks are busy prepping lunch for today's fish taco challenge. Both teams have just one hour to make and assemble fish tacos for 101 hungry surfers. On the blue team, the judges are concerned with the heat level of James's pineapple habanero sauce. There's a lot riding on the sauce. It plays a huge part in the actual overall fish taco. Oh, yeah. I'm getting nervous. The sauce isn't coming together. You don't want to just overpower the taco. It's a little hotter than how I normally make it. These are pretty potent ass habaneros. Red team, blue team, 30 minutes to go. While James tries to tame down the heat of the habanero chilies, on the red team, Jordan is busy creating his own signature sauce. I'm making a cilantro lime sauce. The sauce is going to win it for us. It's going to be fresh and it's not going to be too heavy. The sauce is what's going to bring it all together. So it's, it's a very key component. Uh, that's delicious. Watch the salt there, guys. Huh? With Jordan's cilantro lime sauce completed, Chrissy is ready for red team captain Savannah to sample her batter fried cod. All right, cod's ready. All right, let's taste right. the cod. I fry this cod, and it's gorgeous. I mean, literally, it was crispy, it was light, it was beautiful. Is there vinegar? 
Uh, hot I, sauce? I put a little hot sauce. Cut the hot sauce. That's a lot. Chrissy made a deep fried version of the cod, and we don't tell her to her face that it tastes like, but it tastes like. Yo, know, hot sauce is way too much. This is more like a chicken fry. I think we should yeah. grill it. My fish is like so delicious, and I'm just like, you know what? Just do whatever you want to do. I think we should grill it. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm down. All right. With Chrissy's fried fish off the menu, Red Team Captain Savannah must reassign her to a new station. Savannah, you want me to start working on a slaw? We've already got that. I'm kind of left with, where do I put Chrissy? I'm not trying to keep her out of anything. I'm just trying to figure out what do we need done. All right, Chrissy, tortillas. Do you want me to do tortillas right now? On the grill, right charm almost burnt. OK. Almost burnt. I feel like they're just like, oh, Chrissy doesn't know what she's doing. Let's just put her on the dumbest task ever. So I'm just grilling tortillas. <sighs> Yes, there is. It's good, guys. Salt the fish slightly more. Sure. Put your money on. I think the blue team is really going to come on strong. I think they need to fix that sauce a little bit, but I think they have a lot of talent. And uh, with Eddie at the grill, I got to go blue. Wow. Crime? Red all the way. Red all the way. thousand percent. Mm -hmm. Sauce, pickled veg. The fish is perfect. Super moist. They blackened it. It's seasoned. All right, Chrissy, let's start assembling some. OK, we need um, gloves. Red team, 10 minutes before those surfers start coming or looking for food. While the red team is well underway assembling their tacos, the blue team is still working on their prep. Jesse. Yes, sir. Start assembling them. OK. Otherwise, there could be a queue there, and there's nothing going out. Got it. This is a hard challenge with only five people and one hour of prep time. This is the shortest amount of time we've ever had for any challenge. Just on three minutes to go, blue team. Someone should just do tortillas, someone do fish, someone do slaw. You guys, we need to figure this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight portions, yeah? 93 to go. We didn't have everything organized the way we needed to, and it's, it's biting us in the ass right now. Let's go, guys. Come on. Get ready. Here they come. We're good on slaw. We've got tortillas. We're ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Surfers, please come and enjoy your lunch. Oh, my gosh. It is the biggest mass of people all at once. And like, I think we only have 15 tacos made. Mahi, mahi tacos we got here, guys. The Master Chef Fish Taco Challenge is underway. All right, one of you guys help us flake. Luca, come and help us flake. The 101 surfers will chow down on fish tacos from each team and then vote for their favorite. The first team to 51 votes wins. Come on, guys. You guys, we're going to eat a lot faster than that. The blue team is serving grilled mahi mahi tacos with a chipotle ranch slaw and a roasted pineapple habanero sauce. The red team is serving spicy blackened cod tacos with pickled onions, cabbage, and a cilantro lime sauce. There's a little kick to them. I think you're going to love them. Right. There you go. While the red team is smoothly riding the wave of hungry surfers, the blue team is about to wipe out. All right, guys. Hey, we need you. All right, hands on deck. Guys, we might run out of sauce here. All right, I've got no more tortillas. Come on, Jesse. We got Hold it. Up no, you're not getting there. Stop me. I told you to get organized. I'm getting overwhelmed. My team's getting overwhelmed. We're all stupidly working on top of each other. Guys, we're out of fish. Come on. We can't run out of fish. It's fish tacos, for God's sake. We're screwed. Guys, fish immediately. For today's Master Chef Challenge, the red and blue teams are serving fish tacos to 101 hungry surfers. We need more fish. We need more fish. Come on, guys, please. Blue team, come on, get it together. Unprepared for the masses of hungry surfers, the blue team has run out of assembled tacos. They weren't prepared enough. They weren't prepared, no. They were just completely backed up. So much for the team of all stars. As the blue team struggles to keep up the pace, the judges check in with the surfers to see whose tacos they prefer. I thought the blue was awesome, especially really? with the sauce. And the red? The red I'm a big fan of. So you're going to go red? I'm going to blue. 
Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. How is everything so far? Blue, off the hook. Is it? Off the hook. I don't like the blue. I'm all about the red. It's really good. It's really good. I say red? Red. 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 All right. There you go. Guys, we're doing great. Keep, Keep this assembly going. guy going. There you go, Dynamite. sir. Right. Enjoy. You're welcome. Despite a slow start, the blue team is back on track, and the surfers are moving quickly through the line. Here you go. Thank you, guys. Things are coming together. Like, we're bouncing back. And our team, Saco, is freaking amazing. It is so good. I'm so proud of my team. I need fish. But over on the red team, a miscalculation leaves them scrambling to get out their final tacos. What are we waiting on now? We're just waiting on some fish. We're pulling it up fresh for you. We need fish as soon as you can get it to us. I'll have more for you in a second. I'm so hungry, and you got me waiting. I'm sorry. Luca, we got more fish. Thanks so much for waiting. Here you go. It's what I always say. Patience is the key to good food. There you you go. know it's going to be delicious because you had to wait for it, right? I like the red team because uh, the, the sauce is just, just what made it. I think I like the blue teams because I really like pineapple and I love mahi. How many more people? We got two more people. That's it. That's it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. Appreciate it so we much. We hope y'all loved it. So, us, we would like you to come up and cast your vote on this surfboard. Stand in the middle and then go left or go right, depending on which taco you thought was the most delicious. The first team to reach 51 is the winner of this phenomenal challenge. I know that the blue team hoped that we would crumble under pressure and fall apart, but we did it. I want to come out on top and show the blue team that you can't break me. Please, number one. That's one red. Woo! Another one for the red team. Woo! You're red, big man. So red taking an early lead. Really? Red team, yet again. Red is on fire, in fuego, red hot, baby. We're looking good. <laughs> red team, way in front. Hopefully, we'll get a vote today. We are ahead by 10, 15 votes. And I'm thinking to myself, is this possible? Yes! <laughs> it's looking like a landslide for the red team, guys. Oh, my god, Savannah. <laughs> this is the first time I've been on a winning team. Better not be red. Woo! Woo! One for the blue! Woo! Yes! Let's start the blue streak, as I like to call it. And boom goes the dynamite. Ah! Two, three, four, ten, fifteen. Blue team are pulling it back. Yeah! Oh! We just start rapidly getting them left and right. Blue! Some would say a tidal wave of votes just kicked in. <laughs> we have a draw. Oh. Blue! Red! Blue! <laughs> 49 to 25. Wow, a strong takeover by the blue team. Come on. Two more! Two The blue team requires one more vote to win this challenge. Come on, come on. Go blue! Congratulations, Blue Team! I am on cloud nine. I could not tell you how excited I am right now. Hallelujah, no pressure test. Oh! Red Team, you have lost the challenge. You will now face the dreaded pressure test. I am beyond disappointed. And watching them celebrate, I just want to put my head under the sand. Time to clean. Oh, 
Dude, we marked our answers off. We did amazing. We did everything we could. Hey, win with dignity, lose with dignity. You did good today, Savannah. Thanks, you guys did a great job. We had some of the best teamwork I've seen out of any challenge. Exactly. For sure. Everything on our taco was amazing. It was. I've never been on a winning team. Ever. I know. Not once. I know. I'm just sick of being in pressure tests. Always picked last on every losing team. Nobody wants to listen to me. I have the potential to be on a winning team, but here I am, stuck in the trenches, every team challenge. It's Calm down, please, guys. I don't think I deserve to be here. I've already been in four pressure tests. I'm tired of pressure tests. Yesterday, you all cooked for 101 surfers. Jesse, your team won and are now safe from elimination. But you and your team have also won something else. Please, take one. That is awesome. Very cool. Sweet. Loving it. Nice. So you're probably wondering why you're standing there wearing your hometown's baseball team jerseys, right? Yeah. Next Tuesday night, there's a very special game live here on Fox. The 2013 Major League Baseball All-Star Game. For winning yesterday's challenge, you guys will be watching it with me at City Field in New York. Oh. <laughs> you like baseball, Luca? I don't think nobody here loves baseball more than me. I know I'm the biggest baseball fan out of this group. I love the Yankees. My hometown, the All-Star Game, and I'm not invited. This is like a knife in my heart. Take these tickets and head up to the balcony. Thank you so much. Amazing. Oh. All-Star team gets to go to the All-Star Baseball game. Seems kind of appropriate. <laughs> Unfortunately for Savannah and the Red Team, the surf proved too big for you to handle. Savannah. Name me the weakest performer of your team yesterday. I delegated tasks and everybody completed the tasks that were given to them. Name me the weakest. Chrissy. Bree, weakest performer. Chrissy. Chrissy, why? In terms of her compared to everyone else, she was literally heating up tortillas. That's the only job I was given. At least one of you will be leaving this competition tonight, but not all five of you are going to have to compete. You lost as a team, so you'll decide as a team. One person who will not be participating in tonight's pressure test. You will all go into the wine room for five minutes. And when you return, tell us who you're saving from the pressure test. Off you go. This could be very, very bad. There's a little bit too much tension between us, and it would not be healthy for any team. I think we learned a lot from yesterday. There should have been more communication. In the moment, we all agreed on everything. But the minute we get in front of them, everybody's tune changes. That's the truth. I feel like so we, I was the worst so on the team. It's not, you, can't, you can't take it personally like that. No, no way. That. Three times I told you that I didn't think it was a good idea to see No, you them. didn't. I said, maybe we should put the tortillas on the grill. And you were like, oh, OK. How did and I tell you to sudden, cook them, though? You told me to, you didn't tell me to cook them. I said to cook them almost burnt. No, you did yes, not. Yes, yes. You said, don't burn them, or we won't be able no, to fold them. No, I didn't them. say that. It's what you me. said. I almost said, almost burnt. burnt. Oh, Savannah, hey, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. shut the up. Dude, I'm done. chill out, Chrissy. I'm done. For real. I'm done. No, dude, I'm so sick and tired of you bitching about everything. And here yeah. you are coming in like, oh, you guys, it was such a bad team. You too, dude. I didn't say it was Who were you? Team. What did you I didn't do on the team? I didn't say it was a bad team. Everything you better shut the up, Really? What are you going to do? Yeah. Good. I That's hope you, the you can't sit here and talk to me like an adult. All you ever want to do is hit everyone in the you face. Got one minute. Dan, I hope you go home. Yourself. You, you, you need to watch your language. Seriously. So who do we think should be saved? Jordan. Yeah, I think Jordan. Jordan, you're safe. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Jordan, Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Red team, please come out. I think Chrissy's just a bully. I think that she's insecure, and I think that she secretly knows that I am better than her. Now, the person who is safe, please step forward. Jordan, head upstairs. Thank you. Good luck, you guys. 
I'm safe right now. Rightfully so, I deserve it. I'm looking down on these people fighting for their life. Tonight, for this pressure test, the four of you will have to cook a stunning chicken breast. The art to cooking a perfect chicken breast can never be underestimated. Simply sauteed. The skin is crisp, basted in butter and incredibly moist in the center. You have 40 minutes to cook a stunning, delicious chicken breast. This is not a big pressure test. Chicken breast, 40 minutes, easy. One second, Gordon. When I think of chicken, I think of something completely different. Southern fried chicken, crisp, perfectly seasoned on the outside, moist, juicy on the inside. Tonight, I want my chicken southern fried. Sauteed, fried. Both these guys are wrong. I like my chicken stuffed with beautiful mozzarella and delicious prosciutto di parma. Sauteed for me, fried for Graham, and stuffed for Joe. And you've all got 40 minutes. What? Now you can call it a pressure test. For one of you, it will be your last 40 minutes in the biggest culinary competition in the country. Make your way to your stations. Let's go. On your stations, you will find everything that you need to cook three different chicken breasts three different ways. What would they say? I fear we have awakened the sleeping giant. You better hold on to your knives, because this bitch is coming for you. Your 40 minutes starts now. I'm a little nervous. I am a vegetarian. Um, I have never cooked chicken before, and I'm just going to trust in myself that I can do this. I'm doing great. I never made fried chicken, but I always feel I survived. One thing I don't cook is fried chicken. I mean, I just made it to the top 10. I can't go home now. This is nothing for me. Luca's never made fried chicken. Savannah's never made fried chicken. And Brie doesn't know what the f she's doing. This is crazy to have 40 minutes and get all this done. Gordon, your sauteed chicken. What is the secret of it? Not cooking it too fast. Center takes time. Graham, the secret behind fried chicken is what? I mean, you need a gorgeous crust. So you need to soak it in buttermilk, have it spiced up, a little hot sauce, salt, and then dredge it through twice. So you get it in the flour that's been seasoned, back in the buttermilk, back in the flour, fry it. So how about you? Well, stuffed chicken's complex because you have to be able to butcher, saute, and make a sauce. Luca, how you doing? I'm all right. Who's leaving the competition? She needs to go home. Chrissy? Yeah, we are all sick and tired of her. <laughs> Is that right, everybody? Yup. Public enemy number one. Chrissy. Yo. Which of these three preparations are you most comfortable with? I'm comfortable with all of them. Okay. None of them really scare me. What was going on in that wine room? Savannah didn't want to take responsibility for herself. All of a sudden, I was the worst one on the team yesterday. So she was trying to blame you? I, I know what they're doing. This is a chance for you to knock one of them out of here. Absolutely. Good luck. Thank you. What's a vegetarian going to season fried chicken with? Tofu? Marie, you're a vegetarian. Are you comfortable with this fried chicken? Um, well... <laughs> I don't know. We're going to find out. So you're relying purely on instincts now, aren't you? Completely. 20 minutes to keep yourself in this competition. Good luck. Thank you. Savannah. Yes, Chef. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Which one of the three chicken preparations scares you the most? The fried chicken, for sure, because I don't quite know how the batter is supposed to be. And I know something's off, but I just can't figure out what it is. You haven't started cooking your fried chicken yet? No. I'm going to start it right now. You've now got exactly 10 minutes to go. Come on. Oh, yeah. Reese is doing horrible. She hasn't even put her chicken in the deep fryer yet. Please, you bastard. You got to go, Brie. Time is about up, and my fried chicken is not fried, and it's sitting in a bowl of flour. I feel like I'm completely screwed right now. Yeah, I think we might be losing Brie today. seconds to go. Come on. Tonight's pressure test is all about chicken. Sauteed, fried, and stuffed. Ten, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stop. Start moving your plates down, guys. Come on. Thank you. Well done. I'm nervous and hope that I can take Chrissy down. Her actions are completely unforgivable. If I lose a chicken challenge to a vegetarian, I might as well just give up cooking. I cannot stand her. She is the epitome of the girls that I used to beat up in high school. I hate her. Right, Savannah. Just explain how you cook my chicken, please. So I crisped up the skin in a very hot pan and finished it in the oven. Looks nice and moist. So the problem is I've got this raw fat there. The skin tastes fatty, and underneath, this just tastes like it's poached. The actual chicken stock's watered it down, and the skin's soft. What a shame. Um, not what I asked for. It doesn't taste of a beautifully sautéed chicken. Unfortunately, you didn't nail it. Thank you. Hi. Where's the, the crunchy exterior? I don't know how to make a batter, so I just winged it. I would say that that's undercooked. That's bad. I'm going to try just the outside here. I really lacks seasoning. It's like balking at me. You know, with, with how under it is. So, Gordon's was bland. Graham's is raw. What are we gonna get from mine? I hope this one's better. Chicken looks properly cooked. Yeah. The stuffing's actually quite good. The sauce is a little goopy. I like to see the sauce a little bit lighter, more acidic. This was very buttery and thick. By far the best of the three, but it's not saying much. Right, Chrissy. We all want Chrissy to go home. She's like a bulldog. She's just getting in everybody's nerves. Skin's crispy on top. Nice to see. Color on the bottom as well. So slight issue straight away. Visually, you can see. Slightly pink there. Seasoning, nice. I like that fresh cracked pepper on there. Beautiful when something's so simply done like that. But you can just see that slight lightness, but not a bad job. Thank you. All right, so buttermilk fried chicken. How often do you cook this? A lot. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You can hear that crisp shell. Listen to that crunch. I mean, that's it. It's good all the way through. You did it justice. Thanks. Great fried chicken. Good job. Chrissy. Italian style stuffed chicken. I expect this to be really good. Hopefully it's cooked. Right, let's see what we got here. It doesn't look like a lot of stuffing to me. I thought you would have been more generous with your stuffing, Chrissy. The sauce is tart. I wish there was more but certainly a very passable stuffed Italian chicken. Thank you. Luca. So visually, it looks overcooked. It looks dry. How can you get that skin crispy if you've got all that butter underneath there? Yeah, I thought it was crispy mm -hmm. right after I cook it. Lovely color. Seasoned nicely, but it's just overcooked. So all the moisture's gone. Damn. Hi, Luca. How are you, Sean? Great. You've got a nice, crispy exterior. I'd say it's cooked 90% of the way. You can see here, slightly under. Good flavor. I really like the spice you put in. Chicken's moist, obviously, on this part. Even more moist in the middle. But a valiant effort. Thank you. Luca, this should be the one, the Italian stuffed chicken. I hope so. Who do you think is going to go home? Savannah's chicken over there is pretty raw. This 
is a little raw too. Oh, though. wow. How am I supposed to eat this? After the chicken breast pressure test, both Savannah and Luca risk being sent home, having served the judges raw chicken. How am I supposed to eat this? Oh, wow. Uh... On top of being raw, it's not seasoned, it's stringy. Que peccato. Right, Brie. So you don't cook chicken. How do you know you've nailed it? I was guessing I put a thermometer in it, checking the internal temperature. First of all, you can see yours needs four more minutes. Seasoning, um, spot on. Skin could have been crispier, but you know, Brie, it needs four minutes minimum in the pan. It's slightly undercooked. Yes, yeah, Chef. Damn. Chef. The batter's good. You can tell that you season it aggressively. Let's see how it is in the middle. Brie. Oh, dear. Let's see. Raw. Just like what we saw in Savannah's. Yeah. The batter's tasty, but I can't even taste what's inside right. the middle. It's a shame. So, my stuffed chicken. Is this raw too, you think? I'm hoping that it's cooked. So am I. Well, it's not raw. Woohoo! The stuffing's quite good. The sauce is a little buttery. I wish it was more acidic. OK. But it's excellent cook. How are you feeling? Uh, for the first time since I got here, I'm genuinely nervous. Me too. All of you, this is a very, very difficult decision to make. We need a minute. So. Luca, Brie, and Savannah have all got raw fried chicken. Chrissy nailed it. Yeah. Didn't she? Totally. Yeah, totally in her comfort zone. Is raw raw, or is there levels of rawness? Great. All agree? Three different preparations and just 40 minutes. That's the most unforgiving pressure test we've seen so far in this competition. Chrissy, step forward, please. I think what's become pretty obvious is that you may not be making many friends in this competition, but you're certainly wowing the judges. Great job. Continue focusing, because you're going to be hard to take down. Chrissy has a bad attitude. She's always threatening to beat people up and how she's going to hurt them, and I'm sick of it. I just want to send her home. Please, go and join the fellow contestants. I'm not going anywhere, and if I do go somewhere, it's going to be my fault. I'm going to fight, and I will go down swinging. Three of you remain. None of you nailed it. This is really tough, guys. Luca. Go upstairs and join the rest of them. Savannah, Bree. The person going home and leaving their MasterChef dream. That person is. Bree. It's not you. Make your way upstairs. Savannah. You've made it into the top 10 of the best amateur cooks in this country, and you should be incredibly proud. I'm just happy that I had the chance to be here, and uh, I never imagined getting to this point, so I'm just grateful. Come up here and say goodbye. Thank huh? you so much. Huh? Thank you so much. I'm leaving here absolutely a stronger person. I'm so proud of what I've accomplished here. I've made it to the top 10. 
was amazing. Oh, thank you. You're I want people to know that you don't have to underestimate yourself or your abilities. I'm just grateful that I can say that I've done something extraordinary. And uh, I'll always have this to look back on in my life. Next time on Master Chef. This one, you're gonna love. A mystery box challenge throws the home cooks off balance. Oh, oh. I never made sausage before. Oh. As the top nine begin targeting their biggest competition. I gotta knock some people out. How do you break this girl? She's gonna have to go. I have my target on James and Jordan. I am here to destroy you. And at least one more Master Chef hopeful says goodbye forever. You have reached the end of the road. One potato, two potato.